Welcome back to another episode of Culture Unplugged. My name is Chris. As always, make sure that you like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. You don't want to go anywhere because this episode you're going to enjoy. All right, let's get it unplugged. Thank you, first of all, for tuning in, for joining in um, as we're talking about trust. And we're live, uh, at least I'm live right now, all the way in Las Vegas. Um, I wanted to take the time to make sure that I focus on your growth. Because even while I'm here, I'm having a lot of fun, having a lot of, you know, great times and all that good stuff. I'm still about being committed to you. So what that looks like is for you to uh really grasp the whole concept of trust now the a question was raised uh, i got an inbox uh from the gentleman who's going through a situation he's out let's call him aj so aj um is out in the midwest and he's basically a situation to where uh what he shared with me is look i lost my girl's trust and how can i gain it back well uh it actually is something that revolves around my past and my past mistakes. And I will say that uh, trust is a very delicate thing, right? It's almost um, as delicate as like, you know, if you got <laughs> I don't know, the best analogy, I can kind of go with this one, but let's just say if you have eggs in your hand and you're running real fast with it, you know, if you, um, move a certain way uh you break that egg it, the egg is ruined obviously right it's all over the place it's kind of how trust is if once you break it uh, once you break the trust it is very hard um to gain it back it's very hard to make use of it right um i will say let me explain a little story there was a time i was dating someone really close um to me and breaking her trust was the, probably the downfall of our relationship and uh you know and it, and it's one of those things where you can't go back once it's, you know the damage is done the damage is done so whether it me you lying about something that was uh you know you could have just said hey this is what it was uh, up front or whether situations where you felt like hey it was a small lie a little lie a lie is a lie, plain and simple. Let's just keep it honest, with, uh, keep it upfront and honest. But once you break that trust with somebody that you're dating, somebody you're dealing with, it's very hard to um, have a meaningful relationship after that. And, and a lot of times, and it depends for some people, right? But like there's some, uh, in a relation, some interaction, some relationships, some women, uh, friend even, even if it's just friends, if it's people that will say, okay, you know what, I'm gonna give them a chance to allow you to redeem yourself and, and work yourself back into a relationship again. But it's gonna be a little different, okay? So obviously that person's probably always gonna think about whether or not you're gonna lie again, okay? That person's always gonna also think about whether or not you are gonna really be um, committed in that friendship or relationship with that person. So I will say that for myself, someone who's lied before, and I'm being honest with you because, hey, we, this is a safe space between you and I, um, you have to make sure that you are trying to be 100% and not only what you're saying and what you're doing, what you're doing um, is actionable things, right? So, for instance, you're trying to initiate security, making sure that person feels secure about who you are with them, okay? So, whether that may be a relationship that you care about, maybe a friendship, maybe it's something to do with work, you got to prove and rebrand yourself. And that's something that we're going to be talking a lot about as well with this channel is a couple episodes is, is branding right so your reputation first of all means a uh, hundred percent it should mean a hundred percent to you if you don't have one you want to start now and create one okay 
Um, I can say that for me, reputation is high on the important scale for me with you and I, right? I mean, to make sure that, hey, you know that I'm on my up and up. You know, I've, I've made mistakes. I've lied, I've cheated, I've stole, I've, you know, I didn't kill anybody. Um, but I've made mistakes, okay? And it's a safe space to understand that um, there is a possible way, depending on who you per the person that you've lied to, right, AJ? Um, there's a possibility you can regain that relationship again. It's a possibility that both of you can move on and everything will be okay. But I can't tell you that for certain that relationship is going to be mended. I can't say for certain that everything is going to go well uh, because relationships take work. Regardless if there was any type of uh, hurt or, or stress or anything you've done on your part, it takes work. And this just means it's going to take even more work. Um, and you have to decide whether or not this particular person that you lie to um, is worth what you have to do to prove otherwise of who you really are or the person that you're, you're trying to change for the better, right? So in order to get her back, now this is theoretical. I'm not saying again that any of this is gonna work, um, but I can tell you that you're gonna extend yourself on a limb a little bit. You're gonna, so to speak, stretch uh, your actions so that you can prove otherwise. Because at this point, brother, uh, you want probation, if not already terminated, if not already sent to prison, right? You already been sentenced. The attorney has said, look, hey, we done all we could do. Uh, but there is still those situations to where you have um, you have a, a sort of, a, not to say a miracle, but there's, there's, a there's a possibility, there's a, a chance. Since we're in Las Vegas, we're playing with a game of chance here, okay? The chance is that you could possibly get this person back. Now, the way to do that, and it's just theoretical again, is you make sure you acknowledge the wrong you've done, okay? Be 100% clear. What I would suggest, I would take her somewhere really special that you feel is special to you where you really can't see or hear anybody else per se, right? It's somewhere, maybe a park, maybe it's somewhere by water or, you know, not on some, not on any type of forensic files type stuff. Just keep it real simple. Uh, but go somewhere peaceful. Go somewhere that, that, um, encompasses nothing but peace, bliss, 100%, because you got to be able to take the fire that she has and anger over what you've done and put her in a place of peace. And it's the only way to really mend it. And you got to keep it real simple and you got to be able to share with her and say, look, what I did was wrong and nothing can take that back. Nothing. And if this person means the world, you'll say something like this. You mean 100% to me in my life. And for whatever that I have said, whatever I have done, it does not measure up to the type of person, type of man that I know you want to be with. And for that reason, I know, and, and uh, whatever I have to do to make sure you understand that I'm with you 100% on this, I will do whatever it has to be to make sure that's certain. And if you keep it real simple, I mean, again, you, whatever you feel comfortable with, but you need to make sure that she understands 100% from what you're saying, right? That's only 50%, maybe even 20% of it. The other 60, 70, 80% is you then having to prove to her that you are really trying, right? If she even agrees to it. She may not even agree with it. She, said, she may just say, hey, look, I done found somebody else. Or she may say, hey, look, let's give it a shot. You don't notice, I don't notice. All I can tell you is that you have to make sure you be 100% dead serious. And it just, I'm telling you, every woman is a little different. But if she's somebody who really loves you and really cares about you, she may try. Some women, 
they may really love you no matter how much they love you but they love themselves enough to not be in that space of hurt again so you need to also understand what that is as well you need to also understand why that's also important if that's a situation that happens um again i have made that mistake before brother and uh it is never easy but you can get through this and if it's not her okay so be it you will take a l right and she says look hey i'm good you know i love you too but i love myself more not to even go down that road again right if that's the case you need to be 100 percent okay with that too right you need to be able to look at it you know where the glass is half full you need to be able to actually think of this as in okay i can move on from this i can grow from this i can learn from this now how can i make sure that the next person i actually talk to or deal with or date or relationship with how can i assure her that this is not something that she's going to ever deal with from me a lot of times women will say oh, wow he done changed up you know a whole new relationship he's this and he's that to her but he didn't do it with me listen every experience is different okay if you're a woman watching this episode right now let me just tell you something right now uh, ma'am <laughs> uh every relationship is different if he decided to grow from who he was before to somebody new now it's because that he understood that the pain that he caused was enough for him to say you know what i don't want to put another woman to, through that why would i want to carry that same thing right you should be at this point if it's you have had that hurt on you should be congratulating him that he's actually grown from who he was with you rather than holding him hostage in your feelings and pain thinking that he's just gonna he should be the same person routinely no everybody has a shot to redeem themselves of who they are i don't believe in subscribing to the fact of who they were who they were is what they were what they are coming into the future and what what is coming up to the next person their evolution that's who they are for good as long as they feel comfortable in their own skin based on the experiences and based on the you know the actions that they've taken okay i'm not a perfect person i'm not up here trying to make it seem like i'm any of that stuff what i am gonna share with you is that i've made those same mistakes i understand that trust is one of those delicate things you don't play with it's just something you just don't play with so I hope that from what I share with you, because I, I believe I've given you a good idea of what you should be, you know, you know, focused on this one. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Um, you know, again, trust is one of those things you got to make sure that you are very careful with. If the person that you're dealing with, is somebody you really care about, you know, or even just trust anywhere, you know, once you lose that, it's hard to get in the back. But if you put in the right work, things can possibly turn around, okay? But again, let me know what you think in the comment section. I'm always here to help you. If you have a question, you can even DM me and I'll make a video out of it and hopefully help you in your journey. AJ, I hope things go well for you, brother. Um, and let you know, hey, I, my, my, my safe and, and, and comfort to you on this one, all right? But otherwise, let's always, as I always say, let's stay unplugged. Peace, love to you.